how to convert from this map sensor to a map sensor. Um, I'm going to figure out mounting locations and everything as we go along and basic wiring if you guys need help with that. But uh, I'll try to make it informational and also uh, quick if I can. Let's see here. This vacuum line. We'll take the oh, harness for the IAT. We'll lay that over the hood. This is the map sensor harness. Uh, we got a boost control solenoid. We'll put that. We're going to mount that over near there. Uh, the boost control solenoid. Uh, over there, we're just going to basically group stuff where they go. What oh, did this come with a map harness too? Oh, now I got two. Well, that works. Okay, so I'll go ahead and keep that in the box. I'm not going to need it. Got my IAT here and my map sensor. Alright, let's see. We'll need these later. And I'll need that. Uh, I'm going to take off this pipe here because that's where I'm going to be mounting the IAT sensor intake air temperature sensor. And I'm just going to put it right before the throttle body. That'll that way I don't have to do anything to my intake manifold. I don't want to, you know, drill into there. I can actually just take this pipe out and drill into it. I think I'm going to put it right there is a good spot. Pipe off. I don't have a punch, but I'm gonna go ahead and just do the old hammer way. I need to get a table to set this up. We're gonna go ahead and say that's a good spot. There we go. Now that that's out of the way, let's see what we can do here. Now it's soft aluminum, so I'm hoping we can get it just close enough to where I can get this to actually thread in. Alright, let's try to drill it a little bit more. Getting it to thread now. It's good to go. Oh no. Yeah. Okay. So that was a bust. Alright, so you see the threads don't go all the way. So when it went all the way through, it was loose. But it looks good. The threads look good in there. And so I'm going to go ahead and call it good. Got some old thread sealant that I like to use. We'll see how. Perfect. That fits on well. Let's check with the BOV. going to work. So the BOV like that and this wire is going to go that way. So we're good there. All right, looks good. We're going to mount that again. Oh. 
that's on there good. All right guys, so I found a good spot to mount the boost controller and I just used self tap screws, got that in there. And then um, I have from the turbo, I have it coming to the O-in port and then the COM port is supposed to go to the wastegate. And then I have the harness tucked, plugged in here, running all the way over there with the, uh, the longer harness it comes with. Here it is here. And I'm gonna tap that into this harness. I'm gonna uh, do some research, go ahead and go forth with it and then show you guys. And then here's my uh, MAP sensor, manifold air pressure sensor. So it's going through here. I got the filter up into the manifold. And then we have the IAT, which you saw me install earlier. And I'm gonna have to cut these wires and they go into the uh, ECU and they tap into um, the exhaust gas temperature uh, pin. And then the other one just goes to a ECU ground. So that'll be relatively easy since I haven't wrapped it up yet. And then that should be pretty much it. Uh, I'm actually gonna go to Walmart now with my sister and my kids to get some stuff and I got to get a new tip for my soldering iron so that way I can solder these wires up really well but yeah we'll be back So I'm just gonna go ahead and wrap up these wires. I like to keep them somewhat clean. After uh, a lot of researching, I found out, you can see, I have the five pin here, but only three wires on it. The, uh, the boost control solenoid actually goes into the empty slots, but the pins that came in the kit do not fit. They're not the right uh, pin. And instead of trying to make uh, something work that's not supposed to, I just went ahead and ordered uh, from Injuku Racing, I ordered the five pin harness and that'll just be plug and play. So everything else is pretty much ready. We got the MAP sensor, manifold air pressure sensor. I don't know if you can see, it's mounted in there pretty well. Uh, and then we run this little filter that they send you, why not? And it comes right here to this uh, fitting that was already on my manifold from probably emissions or something. So that goes straight to the manifold pressure. Um, let's see. I got the air intake temperature IAT sensor right into my uh, uh, intercooler piping right before my throttle body. So between here and the manifold, it should be relatively close, uh, maybe off of a couple degrees, if that. Uh, I didn't. I didn't want to have to take this manifold off. Just be being lazy, honestly. If you want to be legit you want to tap it into the manifold itself. Uh, but I got that wire running and then that goes into there and it actually you have to pin it into the uh, the harness for the apexy. So that's another reason it's not running. So over here we got the uh, boost controller apexy and we got uh, from the turbo elbow We've got that port. It used to go straight to the wastegate. Now it comes into here to the NO position. And then the uh, the COM port over here goes straight to the wastegate. So we have this mounted really well. It goes to the wastegate, the COM port here. And then we got the wiring running through here. And then I'm actually, this connect, this harness here that I have running 
and it follows all the way zip tied and everything. That harness is actually the harness that uh, will mount. They both come together in here. So that I have that harness coming, and we'll plug it in. We'll we'll be running Apex. -y. But for now, stock ECU. Uh, stock ECU here. These two wires are from the uh, intake air temperature sensor. And if you can see, I have them green and black, just like from the sensor. That way I know, you know, in here I don't have to keep looking back or trace the wires one by one. But they're going to come into here, into the pins. And so I'm waiting for the pins from uh, wire, wiring specialties, so that way I can pin them in there, because the pins that came with it weren't correct. But, I'll show you. So they send you, with the boost controller kit, they send you this here. And you can see, and it points to where the pins go. This is my ECU. I have the e ER34, the DET Neo. And then this is if you have the R33. It's a different uh, harness. So it goes right there. Boom, boom. Easy to go. There's no existing wires, so just pin it right in there. And it shows you, you know, right there how to do it. I'll have a video of when that's running and I'll go ahead and once I'm running the Apex C and everything's good to go, I'm going to wrap everything up pretty again and mount the Apex C and hopefully get this kickboard over it so it'll be not visible. So that's it. Uh, we finished up today. It didn't take too long. Uh, I would say like maybe an hour or two to figure everything out. 